and welcome back to another video and you find me this time at uh, Maleg Harbour um, someone messing about in the background I'm trying to do a serious vlog <laughs> and, um, yeah so if you watched my last video we camped at uh, Falls of Unic I think that's how you say it that was about three days ago and um, that was a great camp but since then we've just been sort of mooching around Scotland following the good weather which has been a bit of a pain um, spent most of the time on the east coast camped after that one we, we ended up on a campsite after that um, first time I've ever camped on a campsite so we got the alak up on the campsite added to ourselves there was no one else there and then uh, yesterday I've been having some trouble with my, my neck and my back so I had some ultrasound we booked in at a physio in Perth um, and end up having some ultrasound on the top of my spine so it's really sore today so it's sort of hindering me carrying a heavy rucksack for a few days at least um, but I still want to get out so last night we moved up from uh, Montrose we came across to Glencoe just clamped, camped at the back of the King's House just right next to the car really but it was raining all night so a bit miserable but it was a lovely morning this morning and then we've just driven from Glencore. We decided to head across the sky because the weather looks okay over there. Um, so we're just now waiting for the ferry. We've, we haven't actually booked on it, but uh, we've got a standby place. So the ferry is at half past three. So we'll be boarding that shortly and heading for sky. Just doing a low one, um, probably above the cliff somewhere. But really looking forward to it. And um, you know, day like this should be great. I think the forecast for tonight is pretty good as well. Right, so we're just hanging around waiting for the ferry and uh, I'll probably get back to you when we're on the boat. See you in a bit. So I've just looked at the mileage on my car and um, since I set off on set off on Friday, I think, I've done 640 miles just driving around, in the weather. But the car every day, look at the state of it, disorganised. So that's road tripping for you. Okay, this is serious, this don't put me off, I need to, I need to full concentration. We've got the A-team van on there, look. <laughs> That's the A-team. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the eight in that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We're not going to let us on. What do you think about this? We were standby queue. I'll squeeze, I'll squeeze us on, don't worry about it. We're the last ones on. So we're on the way to Sky and uh, just looking across the water there to Egg, Rob. I can see the cooling and typically it's all quite deep, just there. But uh, I'm pretty familiar with Sky, I've been coming to Sky for probably about 15 years. I've done nine run rows on Sky, so I'm pretty familiar with the place. Evie Nia has been quite a lot as well, she's done the cooling ridge. So between us I think we can work out something to do for tonight. We're only here for but the one night. We might be going on to Sky and then off Sky. <laughs> You always got there's always a plan B and plan B usually very quickly becomes plan A so not to be trusted this one not to be trusted at all yeah so it's only half an hour crossing but uh, I've not been to Sky I came briefly uh, a couple of months ago I just came over for some uh, for a pizza actually because we were just staying in the car lockout but uh, it's a while since I've been into Sky properly um, so I'm looking forward to getting back onto the island and uh, hopefully we'll be staying on the island but who knows with this, with this one anything could happen <laughs> right see in a bit I'm just looking across the water there to uh, Noidart that's uh, the pointy one there that's Skirna Geek there's a couple of, uh, another couple of unrolls that we did on uh, one of the recent videos when we went into Noidart on the boat into Inverie uh, 
So I've just stopped and uh, had our pizza, just eating our pizza and um, great views of what we're planning to do now. Look at that, the store on Sky. So we've got some ideas about where we want to pitch but we're going to get parked up first and then just um, see what we fancy and see how good my neck is and see how good Evinia's Achilles is and see how far we can get and just make it up as we go along really. But that looks brilliant with the sun shining on that. Last time I pitched up there I bailed because of the wind. Yeah, the forecast for tonight is reasonable wind. I think it's about 15 miles an hour or something like that. No, five. All right. Five That's, so hopefully if you get that right, it'll be great. Got to get up there first. First though, it's, um, what time is it? I need to pack our stuff still over. Yeah, we've still got to pack all this stuff. When are you for sunset? No pressure. Six, <laughs> six o'clock. Um, so just, as I said earlier, we've been we've driven from Glencoe today, got the ferry across and here we are. Right, another 15 minute drive, 10 minutes and then we'll uh, start getting packed up. See you in a bit. So it's 10 past seven now and we've had another change of plan. We went to the store, had a look at it and just thought, my neck, every knee is Achilles, it's just too much for us. So what we've decided to do, we've come a bit further down, headed a bit further north, you can see the store there. And we're just going to do a low level camp, just walk out towards the cliffs there and just do a low level camp because it's much easier on, on our injuries. Um, so, pack the rucksacks up, We've got our wet alak from last night because it was absolutely raining it down, I packed it up in the rain, inside should be fine. So it's just about a, probably a short walk, a mile and a half, something like that, and we'll get pitched up. Deep bit just up here. Just doing a bit of field bashing now to get there. Look at the views across there, that's looking up towards Kilt Rock in the north end of the sky. There's no paths, so it's just a matter of making the, your way the best you can. I just got views of uh, the store there, where we were earlier. Look at that though, fantastic cliff face. And so far, a lovely night. So I found a pitch, here it is. It looks like it's Sort of tuffety but soft tuffets that will flatten down when you when you lie on them. But hopefully it'll be a good pitch. So I'll get the tent up and uh, I'll get back to you and show you what the view looks like from the tent.
Well, good morning YouTube. It's five past seven a.m. and it's an absolutely beautiful day. We set the alarm for about I think about twenty-five past four. Sunrise was at four thirty-three a.m. and uh, there wasn't much of a sunrise really. There's a lot of cloud on the horizon, so um, it, there wasn't really much of a sunrise. So I just tried to get some more sleep. Last night we were up to the light after eleven, and it was still light after eleven. I think sunset up here was something like 20 past 10 at night. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day and uh, someone just made me a brew. Look at that. So, I'm gonna be uh, getting out the tent and enjoying the first brew, I think. See you in a bit. So I'm up and out. First, like a slapped ass, camper face, but um, beautiful. Look at that. And as you've probably seen from the drone footage, we're right on the edge. <laughs> stunning, stunning. Looking back to the cool in there, the store, Parang's all lit up there as well. Cool that waterfall just up there. Don't want to slip on this edge. I think we might have a wander down there way to Brothers Point. Let's check that out. Before the rain comes in. I think the rain is forecast about 11 a.m. and it's 10 past seven at the moment. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get that brew and the cereal bar. Might have a bit of porridge too. <laughs> what a coastline that is. This guy's an amazing place, it really is. I'm looking north. Wow. Right, let's get some breakfast. So I've just taken everything out of the tent now, all there, and uh, time to strip the tent down, but <laughs> look how close this peg is to the edge. There's a the peg. There's the edge. And uh, just looking north there, brilliant views of uh, Isla Lewis and Harris, probably across to, looking across to Stone and that way. Yeah, gorgeous. Right, get this tent uh, taken down and uh, we'll get packed up. So it's starting to cloud over now and uh, we're all packed up. Leave no trace, nice and tidy. And uh, we're gonna make our way back. It's just a short walk, probably about a mile, a bit more maybe. Across these fields and back to the car. And then I think we're uh, probably gonna get some lunch and then get the ferry back. Tonight we're planning to head back to Glencoe and just uh, do a low level camp in Glencore because I've got to be back on Thursday. Um, got to start heading back home on Thursday. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the day on Sky and then we'll head back 
over to uh, the mainland on the ferry. So we just uh, had a slight detour on the way to the ferry. We booked on the ferry late this afternoon and uh, we just dropped into Torin. I just wanted to show you, look at the views. That's Blarven and Clack Glass at this side. I've actually done that. Uh, there's a traverse you can do up through the low point there. And then you go along there, top of oh, Clack Glass, drop down again, and then head up to Blarven. That's a route I did uh, with a guide about five years ago. Absolutely awesome. And it's one of the few times on Sky that I've had good weather. Um, yeah, so that was a great, a great route. But if you follow this road further round, you go to Elgo and you can get the little boat in there to Loch Karusk. I've done some uh, climbs up there, do slabs and that. Uh, done that up in uh, Loch Karusk. Yeah, so we're going to get back in the car now and head towards uh, the ferry at Armadale. But there's a little cafe just up here, so we're probably going to have some uh, coffee and cake on the way back. See you in a bit. So we've just got on the ferry now, heading back towards uh, the lake. She's over there and uh, looks like the fun's over. Check out, check out the weather. <laughs> so we're going to be needing waterproofs, I think. The plan is, once we get to the other side, we're heading for Glencore and uh, probably pitching somewhere low down, like I said. And uh, it's looking like a, a wet old night, but we'll see how it goes. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Get in the comments if you've got anything to say about the video or any advice, I always appreciate that as well. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. See ya.